Hello and welcome to this Power BI tutorial with me, James from Matador Software. Today, we're going to be looking at some Power BI steps to success when we're developing reports. And I also want to look at, you know, design, layout, and some key considerations we need to make whenever we're building dashboards and reports within Power BI. So we're going to be building this pretty simple um, sales report uh, and we're really going to be focusing on this dashboard that has has many layers to it but before we do that we'll look at the steps i take within power bi report development um, and really steps to success within any bi or business intelligence environment so step one needs to be scoping step two development and step three iteration and i'll go over what i mean by these so in terms of scoping, we need to know what the big idea is. What are we trying to achieve? What insights um, are we trying to gain? And who needs to gain these? We also need to look at the issues that it's going to solve because that's going to directly impact the questions that we ask of our data sets that are already likely defined in, in SQL, etc. And also, is, is Power BI the correct solution? Are there better tools? Could we query this data in SQL, hand it over directly, use Excel, SharePoint, and so on? When we develop, I'm going to take you over wireframing, universal design, layering, and simplicity, and also how we improve things in the end by iteration, removing things, and gaining the most value. So you'll see in this report, it's laid out pretty simply, and we want to, I mean, in the, the actual, we've asked the questions, Who's this for? Well, it's actually SQL data um, on the on the North Wind and Pubs database. But what we're actually doing is we're just showing our sales department, let's say in this example, where they need to press within our publication sales. So in terms of designing this, um, it's got a quite a nice top-down approach. But before we look at that, we want to go over the wireframing. And I talk about wireframing, or I have done previously, and this is just essentially the layout. Um, you could have this in a PBIT template. Um, as, as I showcase here, you could go into the view, you could have your own JSON theme for your company with your branding, but really you want to have an idea of what your navigation is going to be. You want to know where you're potentially going to layer certain visuals, where you're going to place things, and how you want these to catch the end user's eye. Now that we're back in our, our main dashboard, let's look at some key considerations or how I've how I've done this. So we used the wireframing technique. We had some shapes to, to plan where we're going to display some key metrics. Now, these um, dials are very simple, but they're universal, as is this whole dashboard. So someone's going to be able to, regardless of where they lie in the department or their technical aptitude, they're going to be able to figure this out very quickly and make data-driven decisions in an instant and that's what we want but then as you see in this visual here in the top five we give them the option to drill down to tabular data they can view rolling dates and sales they can view the data in tabular format within a bookmark and and really drill down and get further insights and here at the bottom we've got a nice narrative statistics option that relies on dax and bookmarks but what this is going to do is essentially tell our sales team you know the top three titles are generating 58 percent of the total sales and this ties in with our other metrics our advances and our authors we want to focus on our current publications and try and sell more of those because as you'll see <clears throat> when we get down to number four and five in the top end the sales decrease dramatically so someone can come from this from, from whatever aptitude and understand the report. And in a BI environment, that's that's really important. We want to limit the questions and we want to give everyone that self-service infrastructure. Now, with regards to the final step, iteration, of course, when we get this, we've tested it and we get into a, a, a production-ready environment, we want to be able to improve on this. Um, however, we also, what I mean by iteration is, we can actually, when we're at the completion phase of this, 
we actually want to remove anything that's redundant. So that could be the bottom three titles because we know that the top three are contributing heavily and the hard work is in creating something that looks simple and is really easy to navigate for end users. So by iterating, we can take away anything that's redundant and power up our reports. And the key here is in simplicity. And as I said, we scope out, we find out what's required and the, the correct solutions we develop. And then by iteration, we refine everything. And that's my steps to success when creating a Power BI report. If you like this content, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe and share. Thank you.